light and I obeyed, I found my purpose. I'm talking to some folks about Christ. I'm kind of nervous. I'll never say it's wrong, but I can tell you that it's worth it. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is a Monday morning out here in beautiful Alicante. We are actually going to head out to the beach to get a workout in. Um, you guys are going to tag along with me. But the biggest thing uh, I wanted to kind of show you guys is the progression of what calisthenics looks like and how you could potentially do it. Uh, we're going to go over different workout rotations and basically show you the basics of what I do. There's going to be a lot of voiceover, so I'm not gonna really going to talk just because I'm outside and I don't really like talking with the camera out. So bear with me. but. Hopefully you'll get value from this, just learning how to specifically start calisthenics and do it. Alright, so real quick, before you look at all the videos that I just did, obviously, all the crazy ones that I did, um, it all started from foundation. It started from simply doing push-ups, doing the variation in the arch rows that you saw, doing, uh, what was it, variation, so diamonds, so doing straight diamonds, um, different arm placements, stuff like that. But really, everything else also came with core. So not abandoning your core, because a lot of people, they'll just do a bunch of fucking push-ups, they'll do a bunch of random shit, and your core is everything. That's how you're able to basically hold yourself up with like weight. If you're not locking in your core on any of the workouts, it's it's kind of in the sense where you're you're using all this. When you have this, you have your ass too, because your ass is a part of everything, the whole movement itself. So the most important thing with this is obviously you're going to want to stretch. I'm also going to send the list of what I do in regards to the stretches. Um, just because this is the most important part. Everybody avoids it, and with calisthenics, that's one thing that you cannot avoid. You cannot avoid stretching, right? You can't do any of this crazy stuff that I'm doing right now if you don't stretch, all right? So the biggest thing is get yourself a resistance band. Buy something on Amazon, use it. There's gonna be a lot of different workouts that I'll send you that'll give you an idea on what you need to do in regards to your rotator cuff. Your rotator cuff is the most important part of this whole entire movement. Everything is responsive of your rotator cuff, your elbows, all that. So you need to keep those ready and you need to keep those good to go. But aside from that, all of this is simply push-ups, dips, making sure that you do your core, everything else. It's all the basics, right? I'm more or less at the end. Aquarius is literally twisted tea with no alcohol. So another thing is, obviously, when it comes to doing dips, you want to be very careful with you Because at the end of the day, you can mess up yourself, you can't injure yourself. But if you feel like you don't have enough development in regards to your actual chest, in regards to your arms, everything else, I'd say, first and foremost, use regular dips on a regular bar, and then also use the assisted ones that they have in the actual gym itself. Right, and if you can't find something like that, use a bench and simply do assisted dips on the bench. Right, find any way just to do the movement so your body can get used to doing it. Oh, I can't do that shit yet. Not. We'll wait for him to finish up. But if you can do basically push ups on the rings, allow yourself to get the, the workout in. Right, you don't have to do a certain amount, just do as many till you fail. Just to get the you line them up evenly and say if it was a little bit lower. So it's basically be an example. You have them up from here, come at an angle, whatever you're confident with, because your weight's also gonna fuck it up. So simply just do a regular push-up. So that movement, if you can do something like that, um, it'll allow yourself when you do do the dips to stabilize everything. Because when you hop on the dips for the first time, your hands are going to be shaky. That's the that's the big problem. That's why a lot of people don't do it anymore because they feel like they're going to get injured really fast. But nobody wants to do the regular stuff. So you can do simple ones like this. You can, if you're feeling a lot better, you can do wides. So from here, you bring everything together and you open out. Or you could do regular ones where you're squeezing the arms. If you include that into your sets, it will allow you to progress faster when you're doing your dips. You kind of want to have them up to this level. If you do it a little bit lower, it's fine. It's just a lot more leverage on your part. You're doing it to the point where it squeezes. And then when you go up, you don't want to flare your arms like this. That will cause injury, especially since you don't have anything developed yet keep everything short so everything 
close thin. Then obviously your focus is to get your first one in. So keep everything in. See in the beginning, your arms are gonna do all that crazy shit. Keep everything close. Literally try to grab your your shorts. Okay. And then when you go down, if you, if you can't make it all the way down, that's fine. Worry about just one rep. If you can only do one rep, do one rep, but do a clean rep. So don't cheat yourself. Don't don't do this where you're just like. That's not gonna do anything. If you can only do one, just do one. Yeah? Yeah. Is it far? Yeah. So muscle up progression. Yeah. This one sucks. I still suck ass at it. There's nothing I can do about it uh, other than just doing different sort of progressions to make it better. But I can't really teach this because I naturally still fuck up. Uh, but you can kind of see the video, use your own reference point. The biggest thing that somebody told me was draw a, a line in the sand and when you come down that's when you lift up so it should be one full motion but keep in mind I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about so <laughs> I still can't get it. I still can't. Ah. Is it Yeah. It's a weird one. Because you could swing. You could either do a control, where you just you swing. Or you could do like, clearly you're just like, and then you're lifting up. All right, so muscle ups is definitely something I'm still working on, including pull ups. Right, to give you sort of background, I had terrible back. Like, I had no development at all, and I had everything developed in the front side. So, that ended up injuring a lot of my shoulders and everything else. But obviously, through resistance bands, through working out on the actual rings, and doing assisted sort of uh, Australian reverse pull ups, stuff like that, it'll get a lot easier. But, key word with this everything is your back. Squeeze your back, keep your chest up. If you can do at least five reps or five sets of whatever many reps, full form motion. To give you context, I hated pull ups, I had a terrible back, I couldn't do a single thing with it. Uh, a lot of what I did to progress is use the rings to your advantage. Um, and then aside from that, focus on just doing quality reps rather than trying to force shit. Because I had rotator cuff pain. Every time I would try, I simply couldn't get up. So it turned to a lot of focusing on these parts here. And doing that is on the rings. That's why I love the rings, because the rings, you really can do any sort of workout you can. Obviously, aside from like legs. Um, but yeah, with, with pull ups, I, if I were to tell you I can't even do 10, I can do 10, but it's like, it's not, it's not productive. It's a, it's a little bit of a mess. So just focus on the quality of it. And usually after each set you do, you get to your fourth or whatever one that you want and just hold, hold it out from the top and just feel your back. If you can do that every single time, it'll feel a lot better. Uh, and then you can include the L sits because keep in mind, everybody thinks it's just this that's sort of your, uh, that's your base. But what I realized it's your entire, like your legs, your ass, your core, it's all one entire motion. It's all one entire weight. So if you treat it like that, you squeeze your glutes, lock your core, and squeeze your back, you'll feel a lot better when you do the pull-ups rather than feeling your shoulders or all this crazy shit. Okay, so pull-ups. See pull-ups there? They suck. Nobody likes to do them. I don't like to do them, but they're good. It's helped my back out so much. And like I said, I was able to get rid of the rotator cuff pain on both sides. Backstory baseball, I did baseball for about 10 plus years and I always have rotator cuff pain. Once I started doing this, once I started including the things on the actual rings, it made everything so much easier. So what we're gonna show you is how you're gonna be able to progress with doing pull-ups to get your first pull-up, but also just to make sure that you're, you have a healthy back, you have a healthy shoulder, you have everything that you need, right? So 
This is why I recommend rings, right? Rings are like 20 bucks on Amazon. Uh, 45, 20, 45, depending on. If in the case that you simply can't obviously do this, right? If you need to move up, I know it sounds stupid, and you're probably gonna be like, how does this fucking work? Do what you can, right? So if this is the case, do it that way. Keep your chest up, so you basically lock your back in, and squeeze. So first one, second one, but obviously you can do that. And last one you hold. Think about chest, chest out, squeeze your back. That movement there has helped me tremendously figure out everything else. Now, do at least three sets of 10, and each time you get at the last rep of 10, you hold everything out, you squeeze. Another movement you could do, which, keep in mind, all these movements you're gonna be like, this is weird. It's normal, because it will be normal. Right, so, it's in the same sense, you lean outward. You don't have to go too far down, because it's kind of hard, right? Go whatever's comfortable. And this is like archers, it's, it's kind of weird, but you want to see the form. You're basically, you're bringing this arm, whichever one you're starting first, you're swinging. So, bring this arm at a 90, and then you're extending this arm out. And then you're bringing it back in, and then you're extending it out that way. So, if we were to do one thing, right? And then you rotate. If you're already burnt at the end, that's fine. Just include them in your sets. If you can't do any of this, at least do each set of it. Start getting into the habit of doing it. And I promise you it's gonna get better and better and better. Keep in mind, there's a lot of weight classes, right? Someone a lot more heavier is not gonna be able to do a lot more, right? Someone a lot more lighter probably will. They'll probably grow really fast. They'll probably gain a lot of pounds, a lot of muscle. They'll be able to actually do it. Um, but that's, that's one of them. And then, Last one, which is weird as fuck, I'm not gonna lie. This is like a reverse Australian, I guess you could say. So, you obviously grip them in this way. You bring your feet out, and you're basically holding it. You extend your arms out like this. See the rotation? You go up here, right? You get your toes, come at it at like an L angle or something, you're outward. Now, this is going to be a weird mo movement. The biggest thing is you just squeeze. So, the whole goal is when you come up, you're literally trying to just do this. You're trying to touch the back. So, like right where that bone is. I'll give you an example. Coming out. Here. And then you squeeze this up. That's the whole movement. And then you're back. Last one, just hold. Now, what that does is, like I said, the rotator cuff, right? You're gonna feel this, you're gonna feel this, you're gonna feel this. It's basically like if a, if a cop comes up to you and tries to arrest you type shit, and he's like, put your hand behind your back. Something like that, right? So, it's gonna feel awkward because this part right here is not gonna like it. But it is a great workout. It cured my rotator cuff. It's helped everything else out. Uh, and it's made it a lot more easier for me to actually like move my arms around and do all that crazy shit. It's kind of like a T-cross, a T-pose. So the whole idea is you're gonna feel, say if you have like sort of a elbow pain and shit, it'll feel a lot better. It's a lot better of a way for you to slowly work that out and build it back up to its normal health. Um, I had shoulder pain, I had shoulder pain, this, and it actually helps. Like it genuinely felt a lot more. So give you a certain way to do. You're holding it out kind of like in the T pose right here. Stand the back, right? And then you're just gonna lean back. Okay. So the whole idea is you're putting obviously your body against the pressure. So you're just pressurizing the back. So you're coming at an angle from here and you're just squeezing. 
and you're holding it for as long as you can. You need to progress with it, to make it harder. Yeah, that's strong. But aside from that, that's all the that's all the workouts I do. I do a little bit more. Uh, but really the whole focus on this is the rings. If you can get rings, it'll make your life a lot easier. And then don't avoid the easy things, the push-ups everything that builds foundation that builds everything that you need to do um, your core do sit-ups do whatever you can what I usually do with the core is just to practice it once you get to a progression where you're able to hold yourself up on the rims you do you can try L sits right so and you hold it right so stuff like that the way you can do it without this is you just go on a dip bar and just start doing L raises right just start doing those, it'll make this so much easier. We are strapped from the behind side one. Uh, we're gonna close it off. From the top of the world, boundaries still don't exist. The bottom of the depths, your life still lives. You dare to dream. As a matter of fact, you dare to take the next step. See y'all later.